This one is fun. The old 30-year versus the 15-year mortgage. So let's start with a couple of questions. You've heard this one already. Do the banks have your best interests at heart? We agree the answer is no. If they don't, then have you ever thought about why the bank offers you a lower rate on a 15-year mortgage than a 30-year? If they are enticing you with a lower rate to go with the 15 and they don't have your best interest at heart, then maybe we ought to sit back for a second and do some math. First of all, if you haven't watched our Defining Moments video, then please do so because the first one plays a major role in this discussion. You see, Defining Moment number one states that your money will never be worth more than it is today due to inflation. So Kelly, my money will never have as much buying power as it does today. And banks need money to move and recycle. And they offer a lower rate for me to do so on a 15-year mortgage. They even advise me to pay it off by accelerating my principal payments. <laughs> Very interesting. Would you believe that banks make far more money on a 15-year mortgage than a 30? They either collect interest for 30 years or they get your most valuable dollars sooner and spin that money out again about five and a half times. Let's simplify this one a little bit. If this month was your first payment on a new 30-year loan and your payment is $1,500, how much is that $1,500 worth when you make the last payment at month 360, assuming an inflation rate of 3.5%? It's only worth $534. How much is that $1,500 payment worth at month 180, which is the last payment on a 15-year loan? $895, Kelly, almost twice as much as the last 30-year payment. You see, because of inflation, our fixed monthly payment slowly loses buying power. Which do you think the bank would rather have? Your money stretched out over 30 years where the value and the buying power of that fixed payment continues to decline. Or your money condensed over a shorter period where the money retains as much buying power as possible for them to relend and use again and again and again. Hmm. Seems pretty simple to me once you apply some math and the first defining moment. But there is even more. Watch the next video for some serious financial caffeine.